and welcome back to Grant's Gaming Corner. We're continuing our Pokemon Stadium Gym Challenge. To challenge? <laughs> uh, we have made it through quite a number of uh, gym leaders now. Now it's time to jump into our seventh gym leader. We've done really, really good. Let's see if we can take on Blaine. Now's the time. So, just to give you guys an idea, our team, we are rocking with... Persian, Gengar, Kadabra, Jinx, Jolteon, and Zapdos, which has been a very good team for us. It's only given us one loss so far. So, let's continue on our way. What I'm worried about, though, is we're not highly prepared for fire types. I realized that a couple episodes back. <clears throat> but we're going to do what we got to do. All right, so a couple of fighting, a couple of... A, a couple of fight... Quite a few fighting. A poison and a normal... So let's lead off with, uh, let's go with Jinx, Kadabra, and we'll finish strong with, um, yeah, let's finish strong with Jolteon. All right, here we go. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to see if we can try to take down these, uh, these Pokemon and see how we do here. Of course it would read with Raticate, the one that I just was not completely 100% prepared for. That's okay. We'll go with an Ice Punch. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Jinx can take down this Raticate here. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting go around. We're fighting in the fire type gym. Okay, okay, that was better than I thought it was. I did not think the uh, ice punch was going to take down Eradicate, but I'll accept it. It's it's perfectly fine. Okay, well let's see if this hit only survives. Um, let's go with a psychic attack and let's see if we can defend uh, d defeat this uh, fighting type. You know, I'm just now like thinking about it. Pokemon Maybe I should turn off the announcer's voices. Eh, the background commentary is not that bad. Kind of like it. So, if this last Pokemon is a fighting type, then, yep, oh, prime it. Prime it. We should be good. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. All right, we're going to use the Jinx's Psychic and see if we can take psychic. down this, uh, this fighting type primate. That's it. That's it. We won. Okay. We actually did that without actually taking any damage. Wow. Jinx really did uh did her work today. I thought we got some kind of continue or something like that for this. Uh, maybe not. Okay, so on to the psychic. Let's see if we can take down the psychic boy. It was actually a pretty quick battle taking down that uh that fighting that that uh, dojo. A uh, couple of psychic. So, okay, we got a couple of uh, water types as well. So about half the team is water type. So let's lead with Zapdos. We'll follow up with Jolteon, and I think we'll finish with Kadabra. Hopefully, Kadabra will be our ace in the hole with its recover if we need it to be. And then again, Zapdos did some pretty good damage the last time. Okay, cool. Where's I'm gonna go against a water type first. So last time we had a uh, psychic type bout like this, Zapdos really did its damage to that uh, to that team. So let's see if Zapdos can hold its own again. All right, Thunder connected, and down goes the Slowbro. That's what we're hoping for. We're hoping that they brought more of their water types than they did their psychic types per se. Well. Okay, this is where it got a little tough last go round. So let's go with a substitute to start with, just to go ahead and protect Zapdos. And then I think we're gonna go with a Sky Attack, because if I remember right, Alakazam fell to a Sky Attack. Uh, I don't know what could ever use, but it missed. Alright, so Sky Attack for Zapdos. Let's see if we can take down this Alakazam. Seismic Talos is gonna break our substitute, but at least it doesn't do a heavy amount of damage to Zapdos. Oh, this is ought to be interesting. Neither one is conceding an inch. Nope, he is right. What's that? Alright, I'll see him with another seismic toss, and that's big. Oh, that's big. Alright, Zeptos, hit it with that sky attack. Let's see if we can take down this Alakazam. One hit KO. That's what we were hoping for. That's what we needed right there. We needed a There's good a opening to this Zapdos, uh, this Alakazam. Oh, 
Oh, okay, star me. All right, so we're okay here. We're gonna go with thunder and let's see if we can take down this uh, the star me with a, a thunder. Hopefully, that's gonna be a big hit. Okay, Zapdos held it. Cool. All right, Zapdos connects with a thunder. Yes. Oh, nice. One hit KO did take it down. Good. Was not expecting that to be the, the big hit that I needed it to be, but I wanted a big hit, so we'll take it. We will take it. Oh, that's that's what we needed right there. All right, let's continue on. Let's take down this nerd. Let's see what he's brought. This is gonna be. I'm, I am not looking forward to this last battle. Oh, hmm. Variety here. Electric, normal, ground. Water, poison, psychic. I feel like a good Jolteon lead for a good poisoning. Followed up by a Jinx, which has been really doing it, knocking it out of the park lately. And we'll finish strong with Zapdos in case we need a, a legend to hold on with. So let's see what happens here. The gym leader is waiting right after this. Hmm. My, my favorite matchup by any means. But the double kick should do us some good. Alright, Jolteon, use this speed. Hit it with a double kick. Here's the first move. Whoa, looks like mm, a not bad. bad. Oh, this is not gonna be good for us. But if that's the case. Let's go into Zapdos, because Zapdos should be able to hold its own. Pokemon Considering that uh, Dig is not gonna affect oh, Zapdos as his flying type. What now? All right, it oh, missed. Good. All right. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Probably not, but we're gonna put a substitute in for Zapdos for the moment. It created a substitute. Ah, oh, it's a good thing we did too. Wow. It broke our substitute, but it's our Zapdos survived, so that's a good thing. That's what we needed right there. What will the next Pokemon be? Let's see. A oh, it's not hmm. How will yeah, I feel like another substitute is in order for this one. And then we'll see if we can't go in for an attack or two. It created a substitute. Yep. Oh, whoop. Wow, that was... Could not have made a better choice for that. So I wonder if that means this last... The nerd's last Pokemon is going to be an Exploder. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Cloyster. Hmm. Let's go with the Substitute just to lead out and to be on the safe side. And then we'll go for some thunder and see if we can try to bring down this cloister. Okay, cool. Substitute stood up for it. Alright, Zapdos, go with the thunder and let's see if we can uh, hopefully get a good connect on this. Yes, okay. And a one hit KO. Ooh, one hit KO. Wow. It's a good thing we brought Zapdos in the back. That substitute has been the MVP move of the of the battles here lately. That Zapdos truly is something. All right, on to blame. Wow, that's uh, that did not go the way I expected. But I didn't expect him to use so many explodes or self destructs. Oh boy. Okay, this is where we struggled last time with fire types. So I feel like it's another good chance to lead with Zapdos. We'll follow up with Jolteon. And we'll close out with Kadabra. Okay, here we go. Let's see how we can do. Because um fire types are not our strong suit. Alright, lead off with substitute here, Zapdos. Let's uh let's get in there and Whoa, Charizard's fast. Okay. All right, put that substitute in place, and let's see if we can start bringing down Charizard. What 
Alright, Thunder, and hopefully it'll connect against Charizard, because Charizard being a flying type, that Thunder will take it down. Hopefully on one hit KO. Wow, the Slash is... The slash is strong. Okay, it did connect. Is it a one hit? It is. Okay, so down goes Charizard. Ah, you gotta play these matches smart. That's all the way we can win these. We've got to be smart about it. Oh, Clefable. Hmm, this ought to be interesting. Um, let's put another substitute up and let's see if we can go for a wing attack. A uh, sky attack, sorry. Not a wing attack. Alright, this is gonna be interesting here. Of course it would break our substitute just that easily. Alright, Zapdos. We're gonna try for the sky attack. I'm unfortunately afraid that you're not gonna be able to get enough charge up. But we're gonna see what happens here. This ice beam misses. I had a feeling it wasn't. Mm. Probably wouldn't have been a smarter move to go with Thunder there and hope for a connect, but we'll take what we got here. All right, Jolteon, get in there and let's see if that double kick can take down Clefairy. Mm. Let's go with Toxic to begin with, just so we can leave our mark on Clefairy. Because if nothing else, then Poison may give us an advantage to taking it down. Ooh, it's going with a Thunder Wave against an Electric type. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, Jolteon. Break through that Paralysis and hit it with a Double Kick. Let's see if Fairy will go down to a Double Kick. Oh, it's a change out. Hmm, what's Brain got up his sleeve? A Magmar. Hmm, hit it hard with a Double Kick anyways, Jolteon. Let's see what happens here. It's a good hit, but can we toxic it as well? Can we make both po Pokemon poison? Hmm, hold that? in there, Jolteon. Alright, Jolteon, try for toxic and this Magmar. Let's see if we can poison them both. Yes, okay. So it means there's only a matter of time for both of his remaining Pokemon. Um, let's go with the Thunder. Why not? Big hit? Go big, go home, right? What's that? Hi, Magmar. We know that Psychic's not as strong as it needs to be. So let's see if Jolteon's Thunder can be a big hit. Mm. We missed. Of course we missed. It's the way this goes. Um, let's go with another Thunder. Maybe we can get lucky and get a second connect here. Or get another connect here. What's this? But that poison should continue to drive down Magmar's HP. It's just a matter of time now. There's the connect. And does the poison... No, it doesn't do the damage on that go around. Um... Let's go for the double kick. I don't think it's gonna be... I don't think Jolteon's gonna be fast enough, but we're gonna try. Unfortunately, Jolteon is not fast enough, but does Magmar take its poison? Alright, Kadabra. We might have to just do some recovers just to hold in there, but... Let's see what happens here. Um... You know what, I feel like we're just going to go with a recover on this one. And let Magmar bring itself down. Really? Okay, this is a switch out. Okay. I think we just need to... Let's just keep recover up for a little while, because now it's just a matter of time and waiting on the poison to bring them down. Okay, so Kadabra is faster than the fairy at the moment. Or was, anyways. Neither one is conceding an inch. Mm, let's go to Seismic Toss. Let's just see what happens. And we may, we may go back to Recovers. Attack. The weak spot. 
Uh, should have stuck with the recovers. If it does that again, this is not gonna be good. What a furious battle! Oh, please don't. Please don't use the fire blast. No. Fire blast. Okay, who? I could have her. Recover, please, recover. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna have to stick with recover for the rest of this and just let the poison draw down that Clefairy. Mm. I could have her. Use your recover again. That poison's just gonna have to continue to eat away at Clefairy. It's gonna be our best bet. I mean, I know it's a, it's a, it's a different battery strategy than what we've been doing, but we're gonna have to use it. It's gonna have to be our way of winning. All right, Kadabra, cover again. Yep, we're trying our best because we got to uh, survive this a little bit longer. Um, let's do another recover. Let's try to keep uh, Cadaver's HP up. So we know Clefairy's gonna stop those fire blasts. This is gonna be our best bet is continue to strengthen up our recover our HP and let that uh, poison do its work. I was expecting poison to take it down faster than this, but um, let's keep it the recover for now. Oh, it's going for an ice beam now. Okay. And at least we don't have to worry about being frozen because of the paralysis being in the way. I know this is a bit of a slower type fight than you guys were expecting on this go around, but this is going to be our best way to try to take it down. Let's hit it with a seismic toss. Let's see if we can try to take it down. Especially with it going for ice beam. Okay, a thunder. Well, this should be. Okay, yeah, we're good there. All right, Kadabra, hit it with that, uh, that seismic toss. Let's see if we can bring down this Clefairy. I'm sorry, Clefable. Oh. Okay, back to recover. We can't let uh, Kadabra fall here. Ooh, that was a big hit. All right, Kadabra, heal yourself up. Ooh, this is going to be a lot of back and forth for a little while. Alright, another recover, and let's see if we can bring down that Clefairy, that Clefable. Hopefully we'll go down with that poison before too long. Ugh. He's trying, he's trying to take down our Kadabra. But unfortunately, his uh, uh, Clefable is going to fall that, paralysis, uh, that poison before too long, I think. Alright, let's, let's try for another seismic toss. Let's see what happens. Ooh, ice beam. Not my favorite to take on, but I think we're okay. Alright, Kadabra. Hit it with that seismic toss. Yes, that's what we needed right there. I'm gonna bring down the Clefable. Okay, so down goes Clefable. So now we're gonna worry about is the Magmar, but the Magmar is poisoned with only a couple of HP left. So, I feel like a recover is our best way and just let the poison eat away. Yeah, 10 HP. Yeah, this Magmar hopefully is healing down this go around. Let's just recover. Let's let's heal up. Let's let's win it uh, with poison. Ooh, that's a bigger hit than I wanted it to be. Oh no 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 no! Cadabra, no, that's not how we do this. No 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 no. No. How's that? Yeah, it's a hit. It Wait, do we have any other? That was it. That was our last Pokemon. Ah, uh, well, second loss of the uh, the go round. Oh, that was um. That was not the way I wanted this to go. So, well, I guess we have lost two of them in this go round. Um. Hopefully this is what you guys were expecting and looking forward to. Sorry it wasn't quite the win that we wanted. Uh, we're going to have to try again for another win uh, as we go. So thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Appreciate it. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. And uh, we will be after Blaine again.
as always, be good and God bless.